Hey guys, Mark here with Walter's World, and we're in Helsinki, Finland, and today we have the five things you're going to love and hate about visiting Scandinavian Europe. Now, some people don't consider Finland part of Scandinavia, like the Swedes and Norwegians don't, but for me, it is all kind of together. So we're talking about, you know, Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark, okay? Those kind of together. Maybe Iceland can kind of fit in here too, okay? If you want the Baltics, like, you know, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, we have a different video for those. So we're just focusing on Scandinavia here. And the first thing you're not going to like about coming here is the price. Guys, it is expensive here, especially Norway would be the most expensive, but anywhere you go, prices are significantly higher than Germany, than France. I mean, we're talking. I mean, it, it is not a cheap place to come. Which is, I will be honest, the biggest drawback of coming here is that you will be spending quite a bit of money, and sometimes you won't feel like you get as much bang for your buck. But I'll talk about that later, okay? But just know this is not going to be a cheap vacation when you do come to Scandinavia. But it will be a beautiful vacation, okay? So that's the first thing. It is expensive when you come here, okay? Now. I mean, for example, when the first time I went to Copenhagen, I remember my buddy and I went to Neuhaven. We were having a beer. It was like $9 for a beer. Like, oh my God, that's a little pricey. And I was in Norway with my mom 20 years ago. And it was when I was in high school. And my, even my mom was paying. I'm like, this seems like it's really expensive. I mean, think about it. A high school kid notices that it's expensive with their parents' money, when their parents are paying. That's how much it was. And that was 20 years ago. And it's gotten more expensive since then, okay? Take my word for it. But they're so beautiful. It's okay, all right? Now, the second thing you're not going to like about coming here now today's a beautiful day now I realize with the sun in the back I'm a little dark here and it's a little light there but it's a beautiful August day here but the thing is most of the year from October through April in Scandinavia the weather sucks rain snow it gets dark extremely early if you the more north you go we're talking dark almost 24 hours a day in Lapland these kind of things and it can lead to kind of depressed feelings and you'll see that in the people you know you see a lot of smiling Swedes in July you don't see so many smiling Swedes in you know January so that's kind of one of those things that will is a big drawback so if you're gonna come come May June July August fantastic times now that's the second thing the weather in the darkness okay the third thing is the the food now yes I'm a fat man but you know why because I love food and the food here salmon's good anything with mushrooms or a sauce with sauce is good and there's a few other things you know meatballs and other kinds of things that sound silly but there are actually some good stuff but in general the foods kind of blase in northern Europe and Scandinavia in general um, but I will say they at least adapt you know foreign dishes here so they're kind of like Spanish restaurants and tapas bars and other things are a little bit closer to Spain than let's say in Germany the ones that are there so at least you have that but in general the food really it, it's not very good okay in Scandinavia you know blood pancakes and reindeer reindeer is actually not bad um, you know man me this rye stuff for Easter here in Finland I mean it just it's not a culinary vacation when you come here. Just take my word for it on that one, okay? The fourth thing you're not going to like is there is a lot of alcoholism up here because the darkness and all this kind of stuff. And it's not really a problem except late night, so just be careful with that. Or if you're like here in Helsinki or Stockholm and you've got the booze cruise guys coming in, the Viking lines or Celia lines or whoever is doing it now. You have people who just go across, they get drunk, they get off, they cause some issues. But most of the time you're not going to have a problem with that, but it does kind of, you know, you got to you know pay attention with those kind of things because that is kind of a problem here. And the fifth thing you're not going to like about coming here is Guys, it is gorgeous here. It is beautiful. But the price you pay, you don't feel like you're getting the right, enough bang for your buck. I mean, there's nice museums, but it's not the Louvre. But I'm paying twice the price of the Louvre. You know, so you kind of feel like, oh, I really like it, but the prices and the quality just doesn't quite add up and it kind of can leave you a little bit sad about it but if you don't worry about the prices you say hey this is a really nice place to be it's okay so those are things you're not going to like but what are the things you're going to love because i'll be honest scandinavia is a fun place to go i met some fantastic people here i remember the first time i went to norway literally my mom and i spent a week there and literally like my mom had met people that were taking her to dinner at their house i was meeting people in the streets and they're taking me out to their clubs and all kinds of stuff like that and every time i've gone there's norway sweden finland it's been that way the people are actually really nice and fun okay but let's get to the things you're really going to love okay the first thing you're going to love is the dramatic natural beauty guys I, you you can't imagine when you go to bergen and you see the fjords for the first time or you're up in lapland and you see the northern lights for the first time i mean it's really it is awe-inspiring you're like wow like when I, the first time I saw the Northern Lights, it was Finnish Independence Day. They took us up there. They said, okay, you Americans, you have fireworks for the 4th of July. Here are ours. They turned off the lights, said, now look up. 
and there it was. I'm like, oh my God, it was so beautiful, okay? So that dramatic natural beauties, the lakes up here, the archipelago islands, I mean, it is really, I mean, it's a true nature vacation, and you'll really love that about it. So that's the first thing you're gonna love, the dramatic natural beauty. The second thing you're gonna love about it is there's a lot of national pride here, and some say, oh, it's too much now, but no, I don't think it is. Because, you know, if you're in Sweden on midsummers and they're dancing around and singing the songs, it's so much fun, and, and people with the pride, knowing their history, knowing all these things, really makes it a much more enjoyable trip because you see how much pride they have in their cities in their countries in their culture that you really do like and so you can really learn a lot about the place from the people and anybody you really meet so and especially if you can get to some of the festivals because that can be a really fun time the third thing you're gonna love about coming here is it's safe and it's clean now and if you're going around you, know, you, you sometimes you worry about pickpockets here someone's gonna steal your stuff and your luggage there and things like that you don't really have that issue in Scandinavia now it's not as clean or as safe as it was 20 or 30 years ago but it still is safer and cleaner than a lot of other places in Europe and it's really nice you come here and there's so much fresh air I mean literally we literally I just flew in from Beijing before this and we Within one day, uh, all like my two months of you know clogged smog breath was gone. I'm like, oh, what is that wonderful thing? I mean, it's so clean, so nice. My wife was laughing. She's like, you know, I walk by the people here; they're even clean. It's like I'm walking by a soap store every time I walk by somebody. And it's one thing you really appreciate. It is clean and it is very safe, and that's why I recommend it for a lot of people to come when they're looking for a non-England Ireland trip to Europe, but they want to, you know not be too worried about being safe. I say, hey, go to Scandinavia, you'll be fine. Now, the fourth thing you're gonna love about coming to Scandinavia are the cities and towns. So there's some fantastic places. Stockholm and Oslo, they fight back and forth with me which one's cooler, and they're both fantastic cities you really have to view, whether it's like walking through the canals in Stockholm, or you know, or here in Helsinki, seeing this stuff, going out to the Suomen and Lena uh, Fortress, or going to Turku and seeing the castle there, walking on the river, Bergen. I mean, there's so many cool cities and towns to go to. Copenhagen for a good time. Yeah, there's just cool. There's cool architecture. There's cool people. There's things to do. There's nice museums. There's all kinds of, you know, the national museums are always good because they have a really good history of the area. You can find out what were the Vikings were like at the Viking Museum in Oslo. You can see a dredged up warship in, from the Swedish Harbor the, in the Voss Museum in Stockholm. There's so many cool cities here that no matter where you go, if you're going to study abroad in, in, in Scandinavia, you're going to have a fun time in any town you go to. But but if you travel around it really is a really great experience because there's usually a cool city and great nature around it and it's going to be a fantastic thing and the fifth thing you're really going to love about this is there's no language barrier guys scandinavians speak better english than i do okay and when you go around everyone can help you everyone's very helpful they're going to tell you where to go how to find things if they know where it is of course and it's really nice because then you don't have you're not worried did i translate it wrong i mean they're they're like right away right in English and they and they don't get insulted by it now they do like when you speak a little Finnish or a little Swedish and you know, today I was speaking a little Finnish with these guys like oh my god a foreigner speaking some Finnish that's so cool and it really got us to get chatting so I found out some other new stuff here in Helsinki to go check out and stuff like that and so if you can learn a little and we have a few videos on learning to stow or sorry learning you know Finnish and learning Swedish and these kind of things and you should really check those out to really get to know some more of the culture and some more of the people but honestly you don't have to know anything and that's another reason why with the safe and clean part and with the English part it's a really easy trip for a lot of people to go on because you're not worried about much stuff and you can talk to everybody and it helps you enjoy the trip so much more so those are the five things I love and hate about coming to Scandinavia now what are yours leave a comment below about things you like or don't like so please leave a comment below and if you want to learn more of the top 10 towns in northern Europe five things you love and hate about southern Europe check us out our website at waltersworld.com bye from Helsinki Finland